Hey folks, Engineer775 here. Yes, my camera is on a tripod. I know I get a lot of flack over my uh, shaky videos, and uh, so I know, it's, I deserve it. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're enjoying, preparing. Hope uh, you're finding some information on this channel that can be of some help to you. And uh, I'm going to continue um, to show different ways to find water, deliver water, store water, filter water, heat your homes, um, any off-grid alternative energy projects. They're going to continue. We've got so much work. So it's, a, it's I'm very fortunate to be able to do what I like to do, and that's tinker on off-grid projects, prepping related projects. And so I'm, I'm very, very thankful. I'm very blessed. And um, so every project I do, I get to take a short video and share um, with you and so that works out great, uh, hopefully for, for all of us. Um, I want to show you, uh, uh, or just give you an idea that whether you use uh, well water or rain catchment water or any kind of water um, and you need to boost it. If We're all used to uh, good water pressure in our homes if you're hooked to a municipal water system. And uh, this little pump, uh, you've seen it in a couple videos now, a uh, flow light booster pump from Dankoff is a great product and they just they're, they're known for long runs uh, 15 20 year life it's a serious pump nice pump and the key to that though is inline filtering um, before the water enters into the brass head um, what I've got set up here I know it looks like a contraption but I'm doing I've done uh, three this is my fourth of putting uh, just mounting this like you would on a jet a jet pump tank just mounting the booster to that and then powering this off of either 12 24 48 volt battery banks and for most part we're doing little 12 volt batteries and running this this 12 volt pump 25 amp and uh, so what this allows you to do and I'm going to try to I'm going to show you some of the features if you don't mind I'm going to take my camera off the tripod <laughs> Again, uh, Dankoff Solar is are the pumps that we use for boosting and for irrigation. And they've got five different types of pumps. This is their Flow Light Booster. I have a, one of their slow pumps in my spring. Look forward to installing one of their piston pumps. On this, uh, there's some safety devices. I just want to share with you a dry run switch. If, if for whatever reason this pump can't get water, this brass head will heat up very quickly and uh, shut the pump off because of the temperature is just a temperature switch and then you reset it it's got a little reset button here again a 10 micron inline filter and uh, I've just I added an on off switch which isn't standard I just like having the ability to shut the system off other than using the pressure switch again a standard bladder tank your, your standard components on here we do a check valve and a ball valve a blow off or pop off relief valve, spigot, pressure, pressure gauge, and then the uh, standard square D differential pressure switch, but it is wired differently than you would wire an AC switch. You'll see these are, um, I'm sorry, you'll see the positives from, for in our case, battery over here, and then the motor positive over here. The negatives pass all the way through from the motor they pass all the way through and over to the battery negative um, and this is actually to code this is how you should um, basically wire a, uh, the switch for DC and I've got this little jumper in here so this will guarantee the switch is going to last a lot longer than if you wire it the way you'd wire a traditional AC pump okay and uh, the battery's about to die so I'm going to wrap this up you're fortunate <laughs> Um, and this isn't hooked to the battery yet, but this soon will be when I put it in place. So that's kind of that's it. Just a full light booster pump um, on a bladder tank, and this little baby will deliver um, about four and a half to five gallons of water a minute at 60 psi. So very good little pump, and you could hook it to your rain barrels and then pump it through a ceramic filter or just use it uh, for, with your well water as a booster pump um, with your well well water. All right, that's about all I have battery for. Aren't you f lucky? <laughs> um, anyway, 
hope you're enjoying prepping. Keep on prepping and enjoy this awesome fall weather. And uh, we'll uh, maybe do a video of the installation on this. Hope I've answered, well, I hope I've shown you what you need to, to know about this. Um, if you need any help designing a system, it's what I do every day. If you need some help, let me know. Engineer 775, signing off.